fun. <laughs> okay, so like, um, how's everyone doing today? We are so excited to have so many people um, join us again for another story time. Okay, so today we are reading Golden Domes and Silver Lanterns, a Muslim book of colors. I know that a lot of people have this book at home, so if you have your own copy, please get it out. We're going to read it together. Um, inshallah, later on in the um, program, we are going to be making cereal box questions. Hold on. Yeah, he loves the volume on that. All right. So you, there's lots of different options you can do with this. In the instructions, as you saw before, that you do need white paint. If you do not have white paint, it's not like the end of the world. But I would definitely recommend that you do use white paint for the first step, which is priming the cardboard. This is really a, I guess, a suggestion for all the parents out there. Um, the white paint helps line the cardboard. So more of the stuff like that we're going to put on it adheres to it. So if you have white paint, please use it. Don't like skimp on it. Um, do not use any water in your paint at all or else the cardboard will become really, really flimsy. So I'll say that again when we start the craft. But for right now, we're going to get started on our book. Okay, so we are reading today Golden Domes and Silver Lanterns. A Muslim book of colors. How's everyone's week been? Tell me who's tuning in. Let me hear your name. Let's see if we have any newcomers. Wow, look at all these colors. Tell me what colors you see when we go through the book or what colors are your favorite. I know you guys told me last week, but I have a really bad memory. So you got to remind me, okay? All right. <gasps> Bell. Look how pretty this is. Red is the rug dad kneels on to pray, facing toward Mecca five times a day. That's right, because we pray five times a day. What color is your prayer rug? Does it look similar to this? We have two prayer rugs at home that I like to use. We have an orange one that my dad always prays on. It's really small. And I have a purple one in my bedroom that I like to pray on. It has little pink flowers on it. Ooh, blue is the hijab mom likes to wear. It's a scarf she uses to cover her hair. Look at all these pretty tones of blue and they're walking outside. What color hijab is your mom wearing? Does she have a favorite hijab? All right, let's see who's tuning in. Oh, we have Florida, Musa, Daoud, and Eunice. I'm like them. Who else do we have? Let's see. Ah, so like I'm Nora. How are you today? All right, one more. Let's see who else we got. Sahil and I. Yeah, so like them. Okay, make sure you say salam to all your friends. We're going to have a great time today. All right. Gold is the dome of the mosque, big and grand. Beside it, two towering minarets stand. Look at this. We've got a big dome with a crescent on top. We've got two minarets, right? Who knows what a minaret is? Do you know who stands in the minaret and what gets called from the minaret? If you know the answer, comment below and we will definitely put it on the screen. I'll see who knows. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. All right. White is a kufi, round and flat. Grandpa wears this traditional hat. Look at all the kufis. If you're Guyanese, I think they call it their masjid hat. Oh, your name is Anaya Noor. You're eight years old and you're new. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, guys, say hi to our new friend. Does your grandpa wear a kufi too? My dad is not a grandpa, but... He still wears a kufi. <laughs> and look, they're, wearing, they're drinking tea. I love tea. Black is the ink I use to draw the Arabic letters that spell Allah. 
Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Brown is a date, plump and sweet. During Ramadan, it's my favorite treat. <gasps> Look at all of these dates. Did you guys have a date today? I love dates. They taste delicious. Sometimes you can get them stuffed with nuts and chocolate and cucumbers and fruits. Super, super delicious. Orange is the color of my henna designs. They cover my hands in leafy vine. Look how pretty. Inshallah, during Eid, we're going to get lots of um, cute designs on our hands in henna. Some people might call it Mendy as well. <gasps> purple, guys. Purple is my favorite color. I love purple. Purple is an Eid gift just for me. I open it up and I love what I see. <gasps> what did she get for Eid? I think she got a doll. How cute. Yellow is the box we fill on Eid with gifts of Zakat for those in need. Look at that. She's giving money for Zakat. Did you guys get any um, loose change? This is a great time of the year. If you have any loose change or you have a couple of dollars that you get from mom or dad or from your grandparents, you can donate it to the masjid. Green is the Quran I read with pride. Grandma explains the lessons inside. Look at Grandma. She's reading the Quran. Did you guys read any surahs today or read with your parents? Who knows what juz of the Quran we're on? Does anyone know? It also coincides with the day of Ramadan it is. All right, let me know if you know. All right, silver is a fanus, a twinkling light, a shiny lantern that glows at night. Did your parents put up lights in the house? Did they put up twinkly lights and make a nice space for everyone to enjoy Ramadan? And if they didn't yet, I'm sure they'll do it for Eid. All of the colorful things we see make up the world of my deen, of my faith and my deen. Oops. <laughs> I made a mistake, guys. It's okay. All right, so we have all the colors here, and it's a nice big family. We have we have grandma and grandpa, and mom and dad, and little kid. This is a cat box and a prayer mat and a Quran. These are probably all things that you guys have at home. All right, so that concludes our book. All right, it looks like it's not too clear right now. We're going to do some troubleshooting really quick because when we start the crafts, we don't want it to be too, um, what do you call it, too blurry. Anyways, let's see if anyone... Okay, can you guys hear me now? I think I think we should be good now with the sound. Yeah, I, we, we probably are good with the sound now. So we're talking about the adhan, right? 
So the then is what comes out from the minaret. Uh, and it's the call to prayer. So good job, guys, on remembering what the event is. Okay, so, um, so we are going to get started on our craft today. I'm just going to go through the materials list. All right, um, let's put the material list on the um, on the screen, and then I will be right back. You guys have like two to three minutes. Get your materials together, and we'll be right back. Okay. All right, guys, so we're back. I'm going to show you guys what we have. Okay, so I have this old box with me. This is my extra box. If you have any extra cardboard, you definitely want it. You're going to keep this aside. Then you want a toilet pa uh, paper towel roll or toilet roll that looks like this. You see? Okay. I have a couple of them, but you only really need one. If you have the toilet paper rolls, that's totally fine. We can still use this and make a really big minaret, even if you only have one. Then I have a cereal box here, okay? This is what the cereal box looks like. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, our first step is to prepare our materials, okay? You can go to the first step. Actually, wait, go back to the um, list. I just want to explain something to parents. So let me know what supplies you have at home. Are you using paint? Are you using tissue paper? Um, if you're using paint, we're going to start, as you can see here, with a white base, and then you're going to build up with the color. And we're using the extra cardboard to put, build the dome, put extra, um, what do you call it, accents on the minaret. You can also use other things like um, felt 
or you can use ribbon and you know this is a really great craft because you can use a lot of different miscellaneous craft things if you have construction paper or tissue paper which is um something i like to use what you can do is you can cut it up into small pieces and we're going to do what's called paper mache even if you do this method it is best to prime your um, masjid first and we're going to talk about doing that so we're going to prepare our materials so the way we're going to prepare our materials is by first with an adult you are going to get some scissors and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your box or whatever other cereal box you have or cardboard so i'm just gonna this one's pretty big so i'm not going to need to use all of this so what I'm doing is I'm just going to cut some perfect squares. If that makes sense. So I'm opening up my box. This is what it looks like. All right. I'm just going to use this piece right here. Center. What materials are you guys using? Let's see. Are you guys using construction paper, markers, crayon? Does everyone have white paint? Let me know if you guys have white paint or what color paint you do have. Remember, we are not using water. You cannot use watercolor. Um, even when you use the acrylic paint, you cannot mix it with water. It will kind of destroy the, um, the cardboard. So here we go. I'm going to cut this into a square here. So here is one piece of cardboard. There we go. I'm just gonna cut this little flap off of here. So if you have two cereal boxes, you're gonna cut one cereal box up. And this is great because you can put this around your minaret, you can put designs on it. This is our extra cardboard set aside. Here I have my toilet roll, my paper towel roll. If you do not have either of these things, what you can do is if you have cardstock or construction paper, is you're just gonna roll it up long ways and you're gonna get a nice circle, you're gonna tape it down one end and that can also be your minaret, okay? Okay, so if you do not have white paint, I do see that someone said they don't have white paint. Um, you're going to use Elmer's glue and construction paper or uh, or um, copy paper printer, okay? Say it, copy printer paper. <laughs> okay, printer paper. All right, so this is your um, cereal box. You're going to make sure that it's closed on both ends, and you're going to tape it across as soon as I find my tape. Okay, here we go. We have tape. All right. Here we go. So I'm taping across my box. All right, so you want to make sure that the flaps are nice and down. You don't want them to pop up. All right, so this is what my cereal box looks like now. And you can make your masjid either this way or this way. So like this is your minaret, or you can make it this way. You could have it, make it have two minarets, or you can do two minarets like this, or on the sides. So there's lots of different options. So let me know when you've prepped all of your cardboard, when you've like got it all set up. So this is what it looks like right now, okay? Let me know when you're at this stage. Your cereal box is all taped up. You have your paper towel rolls all there for your minaret. And you have your um, your cardboard on the side or construction paper. This could be cardboard or construction paper or regular printer paper, whatever you have here. Can you get me a paper cup or two? If you do not have a paper towel roll or a toilet roll, I can show you a little bit different of a method that we can use doing a uh, using a paper cup 
to also make our minarets look really good. Okay, so we have a paper cup here. If you have one, this is also great because you can cut it like right here and you can make the top of your minaret or you can cut it down here. Let me show you where there's a slit. Okay. And you can bring it in closer like this. And you can actually put it at the top here if you don't have a paper towel roll to make minarets at the top of your, um, your cereal box. Those are just two methods, okay? All right, give me a thumbs up when you guys are ready. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. All right, so I got one person ready. Awesome. All right, so in the meantime, while you guys are getting ready, I'm gonna show you guys what you're gonna do. Okay. You have paper plate. Wow. <laughs> All right, we have lots of ready and lots of thumbs up. Okay, awesome, great. So the first thing I'm gonna do, we're not gonna talk about painting yet, all right? We are going to talk about the glue mixture. This is my glue mixture. It's really hard to see, so I'm gonna put a piece of felt down so you guys can see a little better. This is the glue, okay? All right, so I'm gonna open this up. I already pre-mixed mine. But, all right, here we go. This is Elmer's glue and water, okay? So it's equal parts Elmer's glue and equal parts water. So this is Elmer's glue. If you even have any type of liquid soap, you're gonna put equal parts water and equal parts Elmer's glue into a mixture. And you're gonna get like this, it's gonna be thick, but not as thick as regular glue. So you can see like what it looks like there, okay? So it still has like a really nice consistency. If you have a sponge um, or a brush, this is a great method for applying it on. Actually, I'm gonna use a brush. I'm not gonna use this glue. So I'm gonna use this brush right here, okay? Okay. All right. So that's the first thing. So if you are using construction paper or um, construction paper or tissue paper and you don't have light paint, you're gonna mix this mixture first. So this is only if you're using construction paper and you do not have light paint. If you do not have light paint, you are mix you're making this mixture and you're going to apply it directly onto your construction paper. You're gonna rip it up into little pieces and then put it onto your cereal box. You'll see how I'll do that when we do it with the tissue paper but that's how you're going to start. So I'm gonna set this aside. And we are going to use white paint. So I have a nice, ooh, stuck there, there we go. So I'm going to be using a bit of white paint. You're gonna use it quite a bit. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cover all of your, I actually got lucky here and that this box is white. So I actually will not cover it in anything just yet, but this cereal box, you're gonna do what we call a primer. A primer is a first, a first layer, okay? And on the first layer, this helps us have all the other layers adhere and show up better. So what the white paint allows us to do is if you're painting on top of your cereal box, you see how some of Mr. Captain Crunch is still showing through there? <laughs> and that's totally okay, but the primer helps cover him with later layers. So it doesn't have to be perfect. No water, absolutely no water. And you're gonna cover the entire cereal box. You're gonna cover the entire cereal box in white paint. And I'm using a sponge brush here. Oh, 
All right, I'm gonna go to the sides now. And when you put on your acrylic paint, because it is not too thick of a layer and you're doing it quite quickly, um, it should dry pretty fast, okay? All right, so we are just moving along, okay? Here we go. All right, so we're covering the whole thing in white. So while you are covering your whole stereo box in white, everyone should be doing this. If you have white paint at home, you should be covering all your materials in white paint, white acrylic paint, okay? I'm just gonna set this aside. You're also gonna do the same with your toilet roll, your paper roll. Just gonna be a quick coat of white paint. I'm gonna cover everything. This is great because once you have the white layer on, that means markers will show up really bright, crayons will show up really bright. Anything you wanna use on top of this layer is gonna show up and look really, really great and really um, cohesive. So here I am again, painting the roll. I'm just gonna set these aside and go move on to the paper mache. My people who don't have white paint, if you do not have white paint, this is what you will be doing. So this is hypothetically your cereal box, all right? So what you are going to do is you are going to, I just have some um, yellow paper here. I don't have construction paper, but I'm gonna demonstrate this with some tissue paper. So you can cut the tissue paper. You have construction paper at home. You're gonna tear it up. So you're tearing up your construction paper or your tissue paper, whatever it is. You're gonna tear it up and you're gonna take your Elmer's glue right here. All right, so you're gonna take the Elmer's glue and you're going to layer you're going to layer the glue and the tissue paper on top of each other. This is all you are not doing this step if you are painting white. For this is for people at home who do not have white paint and are using construction paper or some other method. If you have white paint at home, you are painting your box white. But this is what it looks like if you are at home and you're using construction paper and glue. You're just going to glue the construction paper on. Okay? You're going to layer. You see I'm layering the glue. It's nice and mixed up. And then I'm putting paper or construction paper on top of it. And I'm gluing it and painting it down. This method is called paper mache. You can also use this with newspaper before you paint things or if you're trying to design things and you can layer it up. And now you can use multiple colors as well. If you're at home and you're using copy, pr copy printer paper, you're gonna just do it with your white paper, cutting it into bits and pieces. You could also do this with newspaper. This is just gonna be your base. Okay, so that is that first step, okay? So I'm going to go back to what everyone else should be on, which is the white covering your cereal box. So let me know when you're done covering your cereal box and all of your other cardboard in white paint. All right, here we go. Almost done with my cereal box. What's your favorite type of cereal, guys? I'm really interested to hear this. Do you guys like cereal or oats or porridge? I love Captain Crunch. And I used to love, um, and I really like Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Honey Bunches of Oats. I love cereal. Cereal is so delicious. Especially when you put fruits in it, like bananas 
or strawberries. Mmm, yum. I love bananas and strawberries. Ooh, three. All right. So my cereal box is pretty much all done. All right, so I'm just going to set this aside so it can dry. And I'm going to finish my, my minarets. You guys should be kind of wrapping up now. Give me a thumbs up if you're all done painting your things white. All right. Nobody told me what their favorite cereal is. Do you guys eat cereal? What's your favorite breakfast food? I love cereal. It's so good. Or your favorite fruit. All right. All right, so here we go. We have the minaret and our cereal box. And these are, we're gonna put them aside so they can dry and look at different masjids and different inspirations for our masjid building. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I love Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And Fruit Loops, I think I see Fruit Loops there. Delicious. Okay, awesome. All right, so Fruit Loops for Abdullah and Abdurrahman, delicious. I love, actually, we didn't get Fruit Loops a lot, but our cousins got Fruit Loops a lot. So I always had it when I was at my cousin's house. All right, let's see two more favorite cereals. Oh, Reese's Puff cereal, delicious. That means you like peanut butter. I like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. And Cinnamon Toast Crunch too, delicious. All right, let's look at these masjids. All right, so uh, there's two graphics, right? You can put both of them up. All right, so let's look at these masjids, okay? Masjids come in all different colors. Um, well, you could take down the this one. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, never mind. So but then you could put one graphic up at a time. <laughs> that was my bad, guys. Just a little bit of technical. So this is the first graphic. Um, you can see all the different color designs in the masjid. Actually, Hannah, can you put the other one up first? Sorry. <laughs> there we go. So there's different types of meshes. You see, there's a pink one. Um, what colors do you guys see? What color is your masjid, okay? Tell me. We've got different parts of a masjid. We've got a dome, a minaret. Uh, there should be a graphic that says what the parts of a masjid are. Let's see where that is. Yeah, there we go. We've got a crescent. A crescent is the moon that goes at the very top of the, um, the masjid, okay? And then we have um, the minaret, which we already went over. But let's look at these pictures, right? So what kind of colors do you see in the pictures? A measure could be any color, and it comes in all sorts of designs. Do you see any patterns? Are there stripes? Are there dots? Are there florals? Let's see in the other graphic if we see things that we like as well. So here we have pink, we have blue. Tell me what colors you see and what colors you think you're going to put on your master. All 
All right, so while you guys are thinking about that, we are gonna use a piece of paper. Have this piece of paper, if you have scrap paper. Ooh, someone's telling me, oh, your masjid is gray, okay. What color do you think you're gonna make your masjid today? So I'm guessing people are taking their time and getting their white um, base down. Give me a thumbs up if you've got your white base down. If you don't have it down yet, it's totally okay. We can take like a little, a little breather. I think we're moving a little fast. All right, so we have Jibril is making a blue masjid, or he saw blue in the picture. All right, let's see what other colors we have. Nora has white and Zara pink. Okay. I love those colors. Farhan, blue. Blue, that's a nice color. Amara! You're doing a pink masjid, or you see a pink masjid. I'm not sure what co what uh, question we're at answering right now, but I love all these colors. You can make so many different color masjids. All right, so you see all these different designs. We have something that's called a mosaic. A mosaic is like is a tile pattern that can be floral, as you can see. So there's flowers. So don't be afraid to put floral things on your masjid or different tiles and different shapes. You can see in these domes, they come in all different shapes. They're half circles, right? And you've got squares and arches. There's different shapes all over. And masjids come in all different sizes and colors. All right, let's see. I'm going to put gold, blue, white, and green. Wow, you're going to have a great colored masjid. That's amazing. Adam has blue and orange. All right. That sounds really nice. All right, let's see. The mat is doing red. Wow. Okay. So I think we're ready for the second layer of our cereal box. So your cereal box should be pretty dry. And so should your um your minaret i'm gonna put this aside because we don't need it right now and your um extra cardboard okay so i'm going to go ahead and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to do the um the tissue paper paper mache um actually you know what we're not gonna do that we're gonna do the painting first. So let's see what color. What color should I paint my master? Do you guys have any color suggestions for me? Let's see. Oh, I see more people coming on. All right. So let's see. All right, so I have a few different colors here. All the colors and lots of gold, that's great. Nora and Zara, they said purple, okay. Ooh, that's awesome, and Jabril, so they're doing yellow. That's so exciting, okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna get started on the next step of our um, of decorating. What is it? Okay, go ahead. All right, so using all of the inspiration that we had, we're gonna think about what our masjid looks like, right? 
So uh, my mesh is going to have a square base. It's going to have a round dome. And I think I'm going to put my mineral on this side. You could put it on either side. You could put it on this side or this side. I'm going to put my mineral on this side. Mm, will I put a dome on the top of my minaret? I think I will. I'll put a dome on the top of my minaret. And maybe I'll put a crescent as well. So let's see. I could put a crescent here. Ooh, I could put a place for the person who's calling the event here. Let me think. What colors did we see in our inspiration? We saw red stripes. We saw yellow flowers. So I think I'm going to use yellow and red and pink for my for my magic today okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to paint the face of my mesh dude listen are we cutting out shapes all right so you're going to decorate your white base with more paint markers and Paper mache. Hold on a second. Is there a graphic that says cutting out the shapes of the after this or before this? After, okay. All right, so we are going to go ahead and we are going to paint this, all right? So I'm going to paint my base red. Great, and I'm going to cover my whole box in red. Right here I go. I'm gonna cover my box in red. Do you guys have any? guys enjoying the weather it's so nice outside hope you guys opened up a window all right so we are covering our whole cereal box in our favor or whatever colors we saw in our mustard inspiration so remember in the inspiration photos we saw we saw stripes and we saw Floral, so we have lots of different cool colors we can do. And a mesh, it could be any color we want it to be. Design our own mesh. Okay. My first layer. Great. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. You might need to put a second, a third layer of paint on as it dries. So don't be afraid to layer it on this layer. All right, so we're, you can see because we did the white paint first, the paint is coming on nice and smooth and really covering up the cereal box. All right, here we go. Oop, my scarf is getting in the way, all right. Ooh, I think I have a suggestion on what color I should paint my masjid. Says you should paint your masjid pink. Assalamu alaikum, Baraka. All right, so I am doing red, which is a darker shade of pink. We can do pink on the minaret. I think that's a good compromise. What do you think? 
What other colors do we have? We have rainbow, a rainbow suggestion. I like that. I was thinking about making my minaret a rainbow colored minaret. All right, so I'm pretty much covered, I think. My whole mesh it in red. Okay. Just one more layer on this side. All right. And remember, the side that you're going to put your minaret on doesn't have to be too perfect because you're going to cover it. All right, so this is my box right now with red all over it and i'm gonna move to my minaret now here's my minaret and i'm gonna do paper mache on my minaret and i'm gonna do rainbow paper mache how exciting does that sound so i'm gonna get lots of different color tissue paper so i have yellow i have green i have some pink just for baraka let me get this bright pink out. Ooh, so much tissue paper. I got some orange. All right, I think that's enough. Ooh, so much tissue paper. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna rip a piece of orange off. I'm gonna rip a piece of pink off, and you can do the same technique with your construction paper. Okay, so I have pink. Now I have green. And I have yellow. What color do you think I'm missing? I think I'm missing blue. All right. Should I do dark? Let's do this dark blue. Great. Okay. So. What you're going to do with your construction paper or your tissue paper is you are going to make a pile of little tears or little pieces. So here's my blue. Here's my yellow. Let me know if you're using the paper mache technique, if you are gluing tissue paper to your mesh jib or to your minaret. So here's my green. And I'm going to put my pink now. All right, and I think I'm going to put just a little bit of orange. All right, so you should have a nice pile of construction paper or paper mache. Or tissue paper, whatever you're using. And now I'm going to cover this minaret completely in tissue paper of all colors. And I'm going to mix it up nice and rainbow. So we have pink. Green, and yellow, and blue. And the really nice thing about this technique is it starts to look like a mosaic. I remember we saw a mosaic in the picture book we just read. All right, here we go. I'm gonna add some orange here. You're just going to keep layering it until you go all the way around. I think I might be going a little too fast, so I'm going to slow down. So here I am. I'm putting more pink on there, put some more orange. Okay. 
what pain uh oh this is glue this is glue that i'm using this is the elmer's glue this is the elmer's and water paint so you're gonna take the liquid glue which is this one and you're gonna mix it one so you're gonna do half glue and half water okay and you're gonna mix it up and you're gonna get you're going to get this gluey paste that actually has the same consistency of paint but you're just it turns out to be like a clear glaze and that's how you're going to get your construction paper and your tissue paper to stick so you have this mixture which is half glue half water and you are mixing it up until it's like the consistency of your acrylic paint so it should still be kind of watery a little bit and it's going to just glide on to your tissue paper. Construction paper might be a little more fussy, um, a little bit more difficult, but it should still work because it's very liquidy, so it'll soften up the paper. And you can see how it's just letting the tissue paper adhere to the minaret or like the cardboard roll, okay? So that's what I'm doing. I'm taking the little pieces of tissue paper And I'm layering it on. And I'm doing a rainbow, a very color rainbow, colorful rainbow minaret. I'm going to add some green here. And you're going to layer it all the way around. So you have lots of different colors on your minaret, okay? I think I need a little bit more blue here. Great. And I'm keep gonna keep layering all over my minaret. I'm almost done. And you can do the same technique all over your cereal box, which is how I got that effect on this magic. I did like a light purple and a white tissue paper and I layered it on these two, okay? So that's how I'm doing it with this one, okay? So we're layering it, we're getting it nice and colorful. Adding some more yellow. And some more blue.
What's up, guys? We're back. Okay, so we're just going to fix the rotation of this really quick. Testing. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm singing a song. I know you guys miss me singing at the masjid. Especially Nura. I know you miss me singing. And Amara. <laughs> okay, so I think we're back. The test worked. I'm so sorry. But here we are, we are on step four. I'm just putting a, another layer onto my cereal box of paint. Or you might be still paper mache which is remember, we are mixing half glue, half water. So it's like the consistency of, as you can see, it's like the consistency of paint. And this is what it looks like, right? So this is what my minaret looks like. I'm still waiting for it to, dr to dry. Now I'm putting on the second layer of my masjid, which is gonna be a red. A red paint. Okay, so I'm just going ahead and putting the second layer on. If you are painting your mesh, you could paint designs on it right now or you can paint just the base. So I would just paint the base right now. So this is what my masjid is looking like, okay? I got red masjid. Okay, there we go. All right, let me add a little bit more paint. I might be using a lot of paint. All right. Here we go. That's my second layer of red paint. I'm just going to add a few more strokes to the rest of my box. I hope this is nice and we slow down just a little bit so that you guys can paint 
and catch up and use your creativity. So there we go. More. More red paint all over. And one more on the back. The great thing is, remember, this is a 3D 3D project. So if you want to put stuff on the back and the front, on the sides, you can. You can put two domes up. You can put as many minarets as you like. All right, here we go. Tell me what stage you're at. Tell me how many things you finish painting. If you finish your minaret and your cereal box, at least paper mache and painting, let me know. Then we can talk about the next step. So you should only be working on your cereal box and your minarets, which is your paper towel rolls. This is my last layer of red paint for my mesh shit. All right, let's see. Do we have any new comments? Painting the second layer. Okay, awesome. Wow, okay. I love that you're liking the project so far. Wow, Zers, this is neato. Okay, look at those words. I love that. Someone's really excited about their masjid. Okay, so here's my second layer for my masjid that's red. I'm going to put this box aside. And here's my minaret. Let me know if you finish both your minaret and your box. So as you can see, because we use a really thin glue, some parts are sticky and some parts are drying pretty fast. So this should be done by the time we're done with our next step. So here we go. I'm going to put this minaret aside. Let me see where you guys are at. Ooh, finishing the second layer. All right. So we're all around the same steps as well. Great. Our next step that we're probably going to be leading up to, we're not going to go there just yet, but I'm just going to show you the graphic, is we are going to be using your construction paper, your extra cardboard, and we'll be cutting out domes and crescents and anything else that you might want to add to your masjid. So that's just a heads up of where we're going. Let's look at... Hannah's masjid that she made last night with me. She made a purple masjid. She drew on the arches and the windows. She has one dome at the top. But if you wanted to, because it's 3D, you could add a second dome on the back. But that's only if you have extra. She painted her minaret bluish purple. She has yellow crescents and purple domes. She put one spot for her muazin to go up and give the adhan. How pretty. Give me a thumbs up if you like Hannah's masjid. And if you like the color purple. Should I feature Hannah on one of these lives one day? Should she do a craft with me? Let me know. All right, let's see. This one, we have a dome that's round, but we put a little point at the top. It's kind of cute. We did one stripe with cardboard. We have a yellow dome, and then we have a paper mache dome, which I'm, dome, which I'm going to show you. So we have lots of different options of the next step. But let me know when you're there, when you're ready. Oh, we got lots of yeses and thumbs up for Hannah. All right, Hannah. I guess you're going to have to come join me next time. All right, let's see what some of these comments say. We want Hannah. I agree. I want Hannah too. <laughs> I love when Hannah does crafts with me. All right, I'm just going to visit really quickly the second step, okay? So we're going to be 
Auntie Zom, I love that Auntie Zom is tuning in today with a great thumbs up right there. I know that Auntie Zom, when she gave that thumbs up, <laughs> and Auntie Bibi, yes, Auntie Zom and Auntie Bibi, I know you guys are tuning in because you love to see these crafts and you miss all these kids from the masjid. And I know you especially miss Hannah, right? Because she's just a funny one, right? I don't know what we're going to do with her, but she's very helpful. She's helping me with this live right now. Okay. So we are going to use construction paper or extra cardboard, and we are going to cut out our different shapes, okay? So this is my extra cardboard. You probably painted your extra cardboard white like we did last night. We painted our extra cardboard white. I didn't have to because this is white already. And we are going to cut out our shapes. So you want to make sure that the length of your dough is going to be the same length or similar length to your cereal box, okay? Okay. And then you are going to draw a dome shape. Do you guys know what a dome shape is? Do you think it's a full circle or half a circle? Do you want a full circle or a half a circle in a dome? Let me know. All right. So... A dome is half a circle, all right? So we are going to just do one big C, and that is going to be our dome. If you want, I can show you two ways to do a dome. So the first way is a half circle. So I'm going to show you a half circle dome. And at, in the middle of the dome reaches its peak, okay? So that is a half circle, right? So if we were to continue, we would make a full circle. But if you want, you can have your dome come up into a point. And the way you do that is on top of your circle, you are going to draw a triangle like that. And remember, you're going to draw this on the opposite side. So if you painted this side white, you're going to turn it over and you're going to draw your half circle dome. Okay? All right. Then if you have any extra on your paper, you want to draw your smaller dome for your minaret. So my minaret is about this big. I'm going to draw a dome shape like that, okay? So I'm going to draw my dome shape over here. I'm just going to draw a regular dome like that. Okay, so again, another half circle. That's where you're using your construction paper, your cardstock, if you have scrapbook paper, any extra cardboard you have, you're drawing your dome on for your minaret and for your masjid, okay? Now we're gonna cut out a circle. When you cut out a circle, if you have extra cardboard, you could use a different, a different piece of paper. You're gonna cut out a circle You'll see when I cut out a circle, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just be a rip, like a, this is a messy circle, right? It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. On my messy circle, what you can see is with those yellow dots, if you make a small C in a big circle, you're going to get a crescent moon. That's the best way to, to, um, to cut one out. So I'm just going to make a small C. And there we go, we have a crescent moon. All right, so let me know when you finish drawing your domes on your extra piece of cardboard. All right, so your cereal box and your minaret are set aside. You're letting those things dry and you're cutting out your crescent moon and your dome. So I'm cutting out my small C that I did inside of my big circle. And there we go, we have a moon. Pretty big moon to put on the top of my dome. So let me know. Half a circle, good job. Who said half a circle? Maria Khan, thank you so much. That's right, a dome is half of a circle. 
and we have a crescent moon. Okay, let's put that aside. If you want two moons, you can cut out multiple moons. I have a little bit extra left here, so I'm just going to cut out one more moon. So here I am, cutting out another moon. Mistake. Make sure if you're at home that an adult is helping you with your cutting because we don't want any accidents. All right. Here's my second moon. So I have two moons, I have two domes. If you want, if you have lots of extra cardboard or construction paper, you can cut out more domes or more um, little parts for your masjid as accents. All right, give me a thumbs up when you are, or actually, since you guys have lots of emojis, um, find the masjid emoji and send me the masjid emoji when you guys have your domes ready. I know there's a little bit of a delay, so I'll wait for you guys to answer before I continue. put it on the screen. All right, how many domes? So we are making two domes, but you can make as many domes as you like. Let me show you. So what you can do is I have a dome here. Let's look at this project. If you wanted, you can make two domes and put them on both sides and then glue them together in the middle, like the tips of them. And you could do the same with the domes here, then you would need four domes, but we're gonna keep it really nice and easy. And we're making one big dome and one small dome for the minaret, okay? So here I have one small dome and one big dome. And sometimes you can get a pointy dome. Let me show you. So this one is a pointy dome. This one is a circle dome, all right? So look at the two differences, all right? Awesome. Okay. So now we are going to cut out our shapes. So I cut out my moon. Now I'm going to cut out my dome. And this should be on your white cardboard, your extra white cardboard. Or it can also be on construction paper or cardstock. So there we go. That would be my dome. And then this is my second dome for my minaret, which is a little smaller. All right. Okay, let's go to the next step. So now you want to color your crescent moon, cut out doors, get creative. You want to color your domes. So I'm going to go ahead and paper mache the top of my dome a bunch of different colors so it matches my min my minaret. I'm actually not gonna use blue this time. I'm just gonna use the yellow, pink, and red. So I'm gonna paper mache my dome really quick. One. Just tear up a piece. All right. There we 
go. And you can color in your dull, your crescent. So let me show you. You have a crescent here. I'm going to make my crescent yellow. You can make your crescent whatever color you like it to be. So here we have a crescent. I'm going to color mine yellow. Look how pretty. All right. And my second crescent. I'm also going to make this yellow. There we go. And you guys should be decorating your domes. So there's two domes. You can paint them or you can make them different colors. Uh, some of the older folks in this thing think this is hilarious. But yes, it's true. This is one of the longer projects and you will probably continue to work on it going in uh, when we actually head offline. I'm just going to show you really quickly how to make um, a door that opens on your masjid. So what you can do is taking one of your white paper or construction paper. Construction paper is actually better for this. You're going to draw two lines going upwards and then an archway across it. Look at this for a door and then you're going to cut down the middle so that it starts to open so let me show you so I left spaces on the edges on the edges you don't have to leave spaces on the edges but I did You're going to cut it right down the center. And then you're going to fold the edge over like this so that you have a door that opens to your masjid when you glue it on. So it'll look like this. And it can open up. So that's a way that you can make a door for your masjid. That's just a suggestion. Okay? All right, so let's finish up decorating our domes and then we're gonna head to our, our last step. Our second to last step, I think. I'm just adding some more paper mache to this. Let's make some red. See, when you don't add the white layer, the paper mache doesn't stick as nicely. It's not coming out as nice. All right. So let me know when you're done with your crescent moon and your dome. Kind of what time is it? Oh, it's long. Okay, we got to wrap up. All right. All right, so we should be wrapping up now. We should be finishing off our domes and our crescent moons and any other things that we're adding to our mesh. All right, so give me a crescent moon emoji if you are all done with that portion. So I'm finishing up. All right.
right. Let me know when you're all done on your end with your moon and your dome because we are going to start building our measure and putting all the pieces together. we go any crescent moons oh we have a crescent moon yay awesome and jabril that means you guys are all done with your pieces we're going to start putting this thing together all right so i'm going to put this aside to dry while we wait for our friends All right, so let's look at our mesh now. Let's start putting it together. Had a new, new thing. All right, so this is the mesh that we drew. I'm going to start making it and putting it together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my minaret on the side. And I'm going to be using a hot glue gun today. If you are with an adult, you can use a hot glue gun. If not, you're going to be using tape or you're going to be using string or there's lots of different methods to adhere these to the side. We used both tape and hot, a hot glue gun last time. All right. So, all right, let's get started. Uh, Hannah. So I'm waiting for my hot glue gun to get warm. If you have tape or string, you can string it together or you can tape it down. That will also look really nice. Oh, it's tied. Let me know what you're using, if you're using tape or, or hot glue gun today. If you're using string, you can tie a string around here and then poke a hole here and thread it through and it will stay. Or ribbon. All right, so this is a hot glue gun. You're only gonna use this with an adult. I'm waiting for mine to warm up a little bit. All right, so I have my dome. It's just drying. So while it's drying, we're going to start putting our other things together. So you're going to put the, you're going to pick where you're going to put your minaret, how you want it to look you're going to tape it down. I'm going to put mine right here. Okay, tape is a great method. Ooh, look at this pretty dome that Hannah painted for me. Love that color. All right, so it's getting warm. Just 
waiting for it. And then I'm going to put my dome. Remember, you want to put all your pieces on so you can see what they're going to look like. <gasps> look how pretty that is. All right, so my hot glue gun is ready. You're only going to use this with an adult. And I'm going to add a hot glue gun line on one side of my cereal box. You can use tape and tape it down. That's totally fine as well. It will work the same as long as you've got nice strengthy tape. I'm going to go ahead and place this right here, making sure it lines up at the bottom. So I'm just going to squeeze it together. Might need to use a little bit of extra glue. I'm going to add some on this side. If you have tape, you might, you might have an easier time than I am. Okay, so we're gluing these down. I know this is a lengthy project, but there's lots of cool things you can do with this when you're done, right? So you can cut out the windows in the masjid, you could put lights through them, you could put candles in them, you can play with your toys at the masjid, and there's lots of cool things you can do with it, and it's a project you can work on throughout the month of Ramadan. You can always add pieces to it. So that is my minaret, and I'm all set, all right? Now I'm going to add my dome, which is a little bit wet because I just finished it from paper mache. If you want to wait, you can wait a little longer for it to be finished. So I'm going to glue my dome down right here. By just putting a little bit there. Hannah taped her dome down last night. And she did a little bit of a support thing here. So she made a little a little shape like this, and she taped it down. And she leaned it against her dome so that it could stay nice and sturdy, and she taped the back of it. And then she also taped her moon down at the top. She taped her dome at the front here. And then she added black designs all over her masjid. All right, so let me add dries. Whoops. Hopefully it didn't dry out already. Oh. Great. So I'm going to press this down. Did I screw it up? Yes, I did. So I waited too long and my hot glue dried. That's not what you want to do. I'm going to throw this off real quick. Oops. I'm right, just doing a new layer. We are going to put this down. There's my dome. Nice and big. All right, so who's put their masjid all together? Let me know. How's those masjids looking? All right, tape them on. I'm going to tape my moon on to the top here. You can make your moon like this way or this way. I'm gonna make this moon this way. I actually have, I'm gonna put my big moon on my minaret and my small moon on my dome. You can do yours however you feel like. Where's my tape? Oh, here we go. All right, so I'm going to put my small moon at the top here. I'm just going to tape it down. All right, let's go to the next step. Let's see what the next steps are, just so you guys get an overview. All right, so there's my moon. All right, so now that your mesh is all getting put together, look at what 
tell me what colors, how they look. You're just going to have fun. You're going to personalize it. You can add doors. You can add windows and cutouts and archways. If you see the masjids on the picture, like, look, you can add a little doorway. You can make all different things. Hannah, can you pass me this? You can also add glitter and you can add little embellishments all over your masjid. It's just a fun project that you can keep doing at home. I loved all of your, um, I loved all of your um, projects that you guys sent me to my email last week. You can switch it. Um, I love all the projects that you guys sent me to, to my email last week, the Ramadan Mubarak banners. Those were so beautiful. And if you would please send me, oh, I think I gotta move over this way. Yes, this way. All right. Ooh. Then, oh, because audio? Okay. <laughs> We're good? All right, awesome. Okay, so I loved all the banners. Please send them to my email. Hannah's gonna put my email up on the side here um, somewhere, or she's gonna type it in the public chat down uh, down below. And you guys are gonna definitely see all your projects up. I got so many wonderful banners. It made me so happy. It made my day. I will definitely feature them on the Mushroom Facebook and Instagram. So please know when you send in photos, they do go on social media or when you send them in a chat, unless you tell me otherwise. Um, I'm so excited to see what your measurements look like. Have a lot of fun with them. You can add tons of personalizations. You can put them together however you like. Draw all over them. Um, and, you know, just have fun. So until next week, hopefully we'll have a shorter project because I think these ones are too long. So we will definitely uh, try and find something a little bit creative that takes a little less time, okay? Um, inshallah, next week we are reading the book of uh, My Two Angels. Let me show it to you. And we are going to do a good deed project. So next week when you come back, let's think about some good deeds that we can do together, okay? All right, so my email is Salma, S-A-L-M-A, at niamasjid.org. And you are going to email me your name, your age, and your favorite color. And we're going to put all the projects together in a big collage, okay? All right, awesome. All right, so I'll see you guys next week, inshallah. All right, salam alaikum.